I got it, guys. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so much stuff. I think there's 40, 40 plus games in here. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to our fourth episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. So if you are new to the series, we are set out on a quest to build a video game collection on just $10. Why, you may ask? Well, I cannot tell you how many times I have heard, countless times people have said, you cannot video game hunt in today's time, and you definitely can't on a budget. Well, I am here to hopefully prove that theory wrong and help you guys along the way retro game hunt in your local area. We will use all avenues to retro game hunt like Facebook Marketplace, Goodwill, garage sales, thrift stores, anywhere that we can get games on a budget. So to catch you guys up on where we're at so far, week one, obviously we started off with 10 bucks and we bought some Wii games and some DVDs. So I'm not limiting myself to just buying and selling video games. I'm also, you know, flipping things like DVDs, small electronics, anything that I can recoup my money quick to put back into the game collection. You know, I see this stuff all the time at Goodwills and flea markets. I have no idea that I had no idea calculators were worth a lot of money until I started watching other YouTube channels and I've, I've been educated more now. So I hope that helps you guys also when you're out there retro game hunting that you see a calculator or you see a, you know, a DVD that's worth money. It's so easy to pick up those things in the flip. So in this challenge, I'm doing that, but I'm putting all that money back into the game collection. So then week two, our big ticket items were some wireless controllers. We had two PS3 controllers and an Xbox 360 controller. We brought those into the game store and we got trading credit of like over 60 bucks. We bought our first cartridge based games. We got some NES games, Sega games and GameCube games. I put all of those on eBay and we sold those to get some more cash to put back into the game fund. And then this past week, we had our first Facebook Marketplace deal, um, a bunch of Wii stuff and N64 games. So we basically have sold off everything other than a couple crappy PS2 games and uh, two of the Wii Motes that they didn't take, the Guitar Hero guitars, um, but most everything else has sold and for good reason, because we had to have cash. You guys saw that short <laughs> teaser clip from last week. I bought, I bought a collection. I bought our first collection for this series and I'm pumped to show you guys what we got. Um, but before we get into that, if you do love all things 80s and 90s nostalgia, I'm talking about retro video games, movies, toys, and more, make sure to hit that freaking subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss out on new weekly videos. We post um, videos every week. I try to on typically Mondays and sometimes on Thursdays, and I don't want you guys to miss out on those. So let's get into the recap and this week's footage. All right, guys, this is why we do this. Deal just popped up on Facebook Marketplace for 135 for all these games. There's 37 Nintendo games and four Super Nintendo games. All the AAA titles, Mario 1, 2, 3, multiple copies of Mario. Super Mario World, Donkey Kong, World Combat, just those games are worth about 50. The Turtle games, uh, Punch-Out, Fantasy Zone is worth like 20, 25. Mule, another $20 game, totally rad up there is a good game. So man, hopefully we can make this deal happen. This would be huge for, for the collection. Um, great lot of games and awesome, awesome price. I would say we can go through it if I, if I get it later. I would say more like $400 in value, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, I haven't went through all of it yet, but killer deal that I really, really hope we can um, make happen. So let's go. All right, guys, I'm currently at um, a Walmart waiting to meet a guy for this Facebook Marketplace deal for all the Nintendo games and the Super Nintendo games. Um, I had to cash out basically the entire game fund to, to get this. I think I had $70, $70 in the $10 game collection fund and then I just brought in everything that I had. All the Wii stuff that I just got um, and then even the Batman NES game and that weird Grim Adventures game to the game store and got cash this time, which is always less, but I had to have the cash to get this. And I, they gave me $74. So I think all I have left, all the money I have left is like six or $7 of the game fund, but I have enough. 
to get this game collection from this guy. So we are meeting him here in the next couple minutes and I'll try to get a little bit of footage of it whenever I'm meeting him. So let's do it. And then he went in. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, Sorry. we shocked each other. I'll put it back here. Awesome, thank yeah, you. Yeah, we played with it for a little while. Good yeah, he said, uh, your boys. Yeah. Now they're on that. I get it. Sweet. Y'all live here in town? Yeah, I trust you. I trust you, no worries. I'll give you. I give you that. You can count that. Okay. Make sure it's right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Okay. Here it is. Uh, his wife ended up bringing it, which there's no way my wife would ever do that. <laughs> but I got it, guys. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. This is so much stuff. I think there's 40, 40 plus games in here. Uh, again, all of the classics. I've never even heard of this one. Mechanized Attack, I've never heard of that one. But all the Marios, Zeldas, uh, Punch-Out, Metroid. Some great games in here for 135 is a steal. So like I said, I have no money left. Um, I'm gonna have to sell a couple of these, but this is a game collection. Like. I hope this proves to people like you can do this. We started just a couple weeks ago and we already have this. Let's freaking go. Let's recap back in the game room. All right, we're back in the game room. I got that lot of games that I just got from that guy. Um, I guess not that guy, his wife. I'm gonna go through all of this stuff, I'm gonna clean everything, I'm gonna test everything, make sure that it's working, and then I will go through everything with you guys give you value of each item, total value, see how we see how we did. I think we did pretty well. And yeah, so I'm going to get to cleaning this stuff and we'll be back shortly. 2 hours later. All right guys, I have everything cleaned up, ready to show you. I'm going to give you values of each item as we go and then give you a grand total of what it's all worth at the end and make sure to stick around to the end of the video to be entered into the giveaway that we're gonna have at the end of the entire series. So let's get into it. The first thing that we have is an FC twin. Now this is probably the most disappointing part of this whole deal. I, I didn't even really look at what the system was. I remember seeing that it included a system. I think I just naturally thought it was gonna be a Super Nintendo um, or an NES, but it's not. It's an FC twin. I'm a purist. I don't have any interest really in keeping this or using this, but I will say, I, I tried it and tested it, and it works a lot better than I thought it was going to. It's, it's light, it's definitely light and feels cheaper, but the pins are tight and every game started up like instantly. So I may throw this on like Facebook Marketplace because I don't want to ship this. They're not worth more than like 20, 25 bucks. But this is the FC Twin and then it came with um, two controllers and they're actually first party controllers. So. They cleaned up good and they both work well. So two Super Nintendo controllers. Okay, let's get into the games. I will say there are a lot of really good games in here. Nothing like insane or crazy, but solid, solid titles. Um, and most of them came in the protector sleeves. I actually don't really use these. I have I have quite a few, but it, it doesn't bother me to have them just like laying on, on my shelves. But anyway, they did come with, with quite a few of these. So the first game we have is punch out I'm gonna to try to not get the glare on these so I might do this and that's what I'm doing punch out isn't this funny I told you that I was gonna find punch out again people were like don't sell punch out I, I was gonna find punch out again and here we are with punch out the next week after I sold it so I mean obviously what do I need to say about this um, side note if you ever see a five screw punch out I'm pretty sure that's quite a bit more valuable if you ever see that then next up we have Metroid uh, again, what do I need to say? Uh, amazing, amazing game. Super Metroid was one of my favorite games. Uh, I did not grow up on the first Metroid. I've played it since and it's, it's, it is a great game. So Punch-Out and Metroid right off the bat. And then we have The Legend of Zelda. I, I don't know, like what am I supposed to say about any of these? I will say it's in pretty good shape. Usually with these, 
Um, you see the black, there can be black that kind of starts to poke through. And this one is in really, really good shape. So the original gold cartridge of Zelda, at a later point, they released these in the gray. Then we have classic Mario, not Mario Duck Hunt. This one has a little bit more value than when it's just, just the Mario game. Next up is the Black Bass. Uh, have never played that. Also guys, I'm not gonna lie to you and act like I've played all these games. If I don't know if it's good or not, I'm gonna tell you, I have no idea. And you guys tell me down below. If it is worth checking out, I I've never played Black Bass. I I'm sure that's probably not that great. Next game up is Excite Bike. I definitely played this one growing up as a kid. You have to have patience to play Excite Bike because you can't just gas it and then you know you'd overheat your bike and then you spin out and you gotta have patience to play Excite Bike. But classic game. And then another another classic game is Rad Racer. This is one of those games. There's actually quite a few games in here that um, you would think would be worth a little bit more. I don't I don't think this is worth more than like five bucks, but it's a really good game, especially if you're trying to game on a budget. This is definitely one to pick up. Okay, next up is Commando. Um, I am pretty sure this is like a top-down shooter, kind of like Gunsmoke. Um, not as good as Gunsmoke, if, I, if I'm remembering correctly, but not a bad game, Capcom game. Uh, yeah, Commando. Then we have Jack Nicholas Golf. I am fairly certain that this is worth virtually nothing. <laughs> like three, four, five bucks maybe. So Jack Nicholas Golf, not a great one there. Another one that's not great is NES Play Action Football. Uh, I didn't play this one. I was a, I was a Tecmo Bowl kid. And then we have Snake's Revenge. I tried to get all of this off with like a magic eraser and this one this one was pretty tough. So I, I kind of quit and then I looked it up and it wasn't worth much. So Snake's Revenge. All right, next up is Stealth. Have never played that. Y'all let me down below. Is Stealth worth checking out or not? And then a game I played so much. Tengen or Tengen, however you want to say it. Tengen's RBI Baseball wore this out as a kid. Loved RBI Baseball. Next up is another classic game, RC Pro-Am. 32 tracks of racing thrills. Another great game. Another good budget game. I think that's under five bucks as well. Uh, Dash Galaxy. Uh, I've never played this one before. The In the Alien Asylum. Kind of cool cover, but I have no idea if it's good or not. All right, here is a one of the Super Nintendo games. There was four Super Nintendo games in this lot. Super Tennis, really fun, really fun tennis game for the Super Nintendo. Uh, okay, here's one of the more unique games, uh, Tengen Fantasy Zone. Now is this, y'all tell me, is this the same Fantasy Zone that was on um, the Sega Master System? I've never seen this one before. I game hunt all the time. I've been in game stores. I've never seen this, this, um, this game before for the NES. I, I wanna say it's like a 20 to $25 game, maybe a little bit more than that. So cool to pick up an uncommon game. And then another uncommon game that I don't I don't really see is Mechanized Attack by SNK. I've not played this one as well. So man, it's gonna be fun to check that out. Oh, it looks like it's a light, it is, it's a light gun. It's a light gun game. I didn't even know that. So Mechanized Attack. Next up is The Adventures of Bayou Billy. Very, very average game. Uh, no one really talks about this game because it's just, it's just okay. Blades of Steel, classic, classic hockey game. I think there's another variant of this game with a different label that potentially could be worth a little more. I'm not sure. Shadow Gate, a game I did not like. It's like a point and click game. Not, that's not for me. I'm not a Shadow Gate fan. Then we have Blaster Master, great budget title under 10 bucks. Um, such a fun game. If you've never played Blaster Master, go check that one out. And then we got Bases Loaded 3. Um, I knew there was a three and when I, I looked this one up, there was actually a Bases, Bases Loaded 4. I had no idea there was a fourth one, but Bases Loaded 3, so we have one and three, two is not in the lot. This is a pretty, pretty rad game. It's totally rad. Uh, fairly uncommon game. I don't see it all the time. And I've played this before and it's it's not too bad. So check out Totally Rad. 
Next up, we got Tecmo World Wrestling with a very, very serious cover. Man, those guys are going at it, and they look uh, hardly clothed, so that's something to note. Uh, next, we have Narc. No one had the guts until now. Freaking Narc. Okay. And then we have Knight Rider, the drive the car from the hit TV series. You drive the car. I'm sorry. It's late. It's at night right now. You drive the car from the hit TV series. I never watched that TV show. I don't know if it's good or not, but Knight Rider. Next up is 1943. Uh, not to be confused with 1942. There's another game. And these are really good Capcom shooters. So check out 1943. A game that I am not interested in is called Mule, and this is like a strategy-based game. I have never been into strategy games, but fun fact, my friend's brother or cousin or something is the designer for this game. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is definitely gonna get sold. I don't, I don't wanna keep this one. I think it's worth like 15 plus. In a game I played a lot growing up, another great budget title. I know I keep saying it, but seriously, you can pick up these games for, anywhere from like five or six bucks, and they're great. Really, really fun. Spy Hunter. Okay, here is another Shadow Gate. This one is just really trashed. I don't know what I'll do with that. I probably won't be able to get much for that, but another Shadow Gate. And then we have two Ultima games, Ultima Exodus and Quest of the Avatar. So these, these games I've also not played before, and I looked up a little bit of gameplay just to make sure, um, I guess check first if I've ever played it and they did not look interesting to me. So these will probably both get sold as well. I think there's a third Ultima game as well on the NES. All right, only a couple more games left. A classic, TMNT. What a great game, what a freaking hard game. That stupid water level, hated that level. Uh, and then TMNT 2, the arcade game. Wow, what? An amazing game. The third one is really good too. Sadly, that's not in here, but TMNT 2 and the first one, two great games. All right, let's go through these last couple Super Nintendo games real quick. Mortal Kombat 2, not much to say about this amazing fighting game series. You know, you had Street Fighter and Mortal Kombat. My fighting game of choice when I was a kid was actually Killer Instinct. I wore my thumbs out playing that game, um, but Mortal Kombat is obviously a great game. Then we have one of the greatest games of all time, Super Mario World. I cannot tell you how many times I've played through this game. I play through it every single year. It's like a feel good game for me. I love, I love this game. Um, but yeah, Super Mario World. And then another one, Donkey Kong Country. I mean, these are, these are classic game staples that you have to have in your game collection. So there's those last three, four Super Nintendo games total. Okay, and our last three games are Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. I mean, every Nintendo came with this game. If you ever get a lot of Nintendo games, I guarantee you this is gonna be in there. Um, Super Mario Bros. 2 and Super Mario Bros. 3. Guys, I mean, we are four weeks in, four weeks in, starting off with $10, and we have a video game collection. Like, if I went over to your house, and I was sitting on your couch and I looked at your TV stand and you had all these games, I'd be like, this person collects video games. They are a video game collector. I'm telling you guys, this is possible. It can happen. And this is just the beginning. We're not gonna quit. We're gonna keep going, but I'm excited to see where we're at in October. But this is an amazing start. One month down. Where I'm gonna go from here is I'm gonna sell some of the uncommon games and I might sell Punch Out again some of the games that might go pretty quick to get some more cash. So somebody asked a really good question. They said, you know, when do you start keeping games for the collection? Great, great, great question. Where I wanna be is I always wanna have about 150 to $200 in the game collection fund. Once we're there, we're golden. Cause I do not, my worst nightmare is to see a game collection pop up on Facebook Marketplace or at a garage sale and me not have enough money to buy it. Cause I'm not gonna cheat. I, I just I do not want to cheat in this in this series. So that's my worst fear. So as long as we can get about 150 to 200 bucks, I'm gonna be happy. Then I'll start keeping stuff. But right now, again, we have like 10 bucks. So I've got 
I've got to start putting some stuff on eBay and getting it sold. All right, question of the video to be entered into the giveaway at the end of the series. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick three random episodes from the entire series and then pick three comments within those episodes and those people are gonna be able to pick one item from the $10 game collection, collection and keep. So all I gotta do is comment below and like the video and you're in. This week's question is, which Mario game on the NES is your favorite? Mario 1, Mario 2, or Mario 3? So Mario 1 is obviously the OG, the classic game that saved the video game market. Mario 2 gets a lot of hate from some people, but I know a lot of people that love Mario 2. And then Mario 3, I mean, Mario 3 might be my favorite, to be honest. All I can think about is The Wizard. Super Mario Brothers 3! All right, guys, I'm gonna get some of this stuff listed on eBay. Thank you, as always, for hanging out, for watching the videos. If you missed any of the previous episodes, go check those out. And until next time, peace.